Hey everyone, welcome back to another ICTI GCSE video. So today we are going to be looking at the most repeated questions from chapter 1. And then this is a series that will continue to all the theory chapters. Okay, so chapter 1, the most common question is, what is software and hardware? You at, you'll see this question in at least one variant or not. So the answers are basically, hardware are the physical components that make up a computer. So the main keyword over here, as usual, is the physical component. And software is a general term of programs that control the computer system and processing of data. Now, we have two types of softwares, application and system softwares. Then, they ask you to know the difference between GUI, graphical user interface, and CLI, which stands for command line interface. Now, GUI, um, it's okay. So, these are not all the answers there, but some of them. So let's look at them. So GUI user does not need to learn any commands while CLI user needs to learn a number of commands to carry out basic operations. So over here, I think you can organize. So CLI users needs to learn and memorize programs. Okay. So we can just put this one. I will just add it here. Then GUI is more friendly. So instead of friendly, we can also write intuitive, intuitive. Okay. Uh, we just put this here. Icons are used to represent applications while in CLI, all commands need to be typed in. Uh, in CLI, you need to remember the exact path and name of the application while GUI menus help you choose an action. CLI, it's more important that the user understands how a computer works. Now, all these are all true. Let's add a few more. We can say that in CLI, the user is in more, uh, okay. Or let's say, okay, the user is in more control with the computer. And you can also say for CLI, CLI that it's CLI is faster for experience experienced users then you can also say that cli takes up less memory than gui okay so these are just some few extra ones that you can add so i've given you three here four here if i five here anything else that i can add so maybe you can also say gui uses the wimp which is windows icons menus and pointer uh interface and yeah the other ones that are also there but these are just some of the ones that i remember for now and then ram and room also very common let me just change color ram stores data temporarily stores data temporarily and room stores data permanently now you can also give their full forms where you can say ram ram stands for random access memory and room stands for read only memory sometimes my scheme gives you marks for this as well let's align this well okay then ram uh, ram as uh, memory can be written and read but room as the name says read only can only be read in ram content is lost when the computer is turned off which means that it has volatile memory and in room data cannot be changed or lost when the power is turned off which means it has non-volatile memory so if they ask you to define what does volatile mean, just say that data is lost when computer is turned off. Non-volatile means that data is not lost when the computer is turned off. Then the difference between a laptop, desktop, and smartphone. These are one of the easiest questions that you can just, even if you haven't learned them, you should know it. So a computer that is used in only one place, desktop, must, uh, must always be connected to an external source part to work. Also desktop. Small enough to fit in a pocket, smartphone, not laptop. A mobile device with a large keyboard and display, which is of course a laptop. Then, uh, we need to know the difference between application software and system software. 
Now, oftentimes we are able to remember the definition for application software, but not for system software. So it's really important that you know them. So application software is a program that allows the user to do specific tasks. Okay. A program that allows the user to do specific tasks. And then you can give some examples. The one I use are word processors, spreadsheet, database, and um, photo editing softwares. And then there are others that they have given us video editing software, graphic manipulation software, control measuring software, and applications, application softwares. Then system software is a program, again, a program that allows the hardware to run properly and to communicate with the computer. For example, now you need to know all of them. Okay. You need to know the compiler, the interpreter, linker, operating system, and device drive. Then the last question that is most usually asked is what is meant by virtual reality and what are some general uh, equipment used? So now we can say that these are basically, it creates an, a uh, computer generated, computer generated artificial environment that users can interact with, such as it helps with architects so that they can build their buildings and all training pilots so that they can wear it and then train in real life, train surgeons, play games. You can also say military operations, etc. Okay. General equipment use are eye goggles or VR headset, or we can say headset. Bright headset, uh, headset is more preferred. Headset, gloves, headphones, sensor, powerful computer. So computer, uh, I would write a monitor, speakers. Speakers, then I'll maybe add microphone if multiplayer and um, maybe I'll also add motion sensors. So they have okay, they have given okay, maybe I'll add joystick here as well. Joystick, joystick, and over here, maybe I'll add motion sensors. So that's all. These are the most commonly asked questions for ICT chapter one. Next video will be on chapter two. See you then. Till then. Tada.